outhouse to penthouse. Who goes from last to first more than National Football League teams? Let's talk about it. Because we're on the outset of a National Football League season. And as you know, you can never say never. Doug Peterson has taken Trevor Lawrence and put them on a rocket ship. Can't say enough about the job Dougie P has done. Say expectations, expectations. He's supposed to do this. What well, damn it, he Obviously, did. Obviously, they can be the best offense in the league. Obviously, they can have the league in BP. They could be a 13 win like team. team. And they are going to be explosive on offense and defensively. They've got athletes galore. What do you think is going to happen with this football team? They're going to explode. Second year under Doug Peterson in his system, arrows are pointing in the right six, direction. Six with that arm, the name that comes to my mind is Trevor He has Lawrence. as much talent around him as any quarterback, not just in the AFC, but in the NFL. Trevor, Evan Ingram, Christian Kirk, Jay Jones. People don't realize how f- good Calvin Ridley is. I'm telling you right now, Trevor Lawrence is coming. Shad Khan, we got you the Miller Electric Center. Actually, you got us the Miller Electric Center. It looks like a sparkling facility that they've got down there. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's a sign of better things to come for the Jaguar organization. I love the facility. I've been in uh, several facilities. But what I really love is just all the amenities after. Like, to, to really get the players to buy into making wherever they play their home all year round. And I think that you guys have really uh, honed that in. Oh, see the new digs here. Doesn't look too shabby. A new place to call home for a while. I I think it's something that was long overdue, I guess is the best way to put it. And and so I think, you know, and it's kind of a new shiny toy. Beautiful new facility. If you build it, they will come kind of mentality, right? And, And this thing is in the right direction. But man, it takes what? One year for those expectations to flip. (laughs) <laughs> you know, last year was amazing. And, you know, I talked to teams, I'm on this tour, I'm talking to all sorts of teams, and they look at the Jaguars last year, the teams that haven't been there, look at the Jaguars and say, like, that's what I want to be. They were young, talented, had no idea what was happening. Nobody told them they shouldn't be in the playoffs. Nobody told them you're not supposed to win and that many in a row to, to get there. And they just did it anyway. And it was really awesome to see. Came with the new, new. Got the new. Listen, man. Problem is, then you got to do it again. And now everyone knows about the Jaguars. They know what's coming. They are ready. They're not sneaking up on anyone. Um, and it's it's a little bit harder. But I think the team is better too. And I believe players are buying into it. And because they're buying into it, uh, you understand that what kind of team they're they're going to be. They understand it, and it's exciting to see. And just a collective, collectively, you have a lot of different personalities in the coaching staff. Uh, also in the players, but they all know what they desire and what they want and willing to sacrifice their voice to go ahead and lead as a group. They're starting to trend up and starting to take that step into an NFL player. And it's pretty cool to watch. New guys, obviously we've had the rookies and uh, some, some veterans in here the last couple of days, kind of trying out the building and everything. But hopefully the rest of you guys had a great summer break and, and uh, eager and ready to go uh, for this training camp. All right? We now have the best facility in the National Football League. Okay, understand that this is the best facility. And, and I, I I talked to the rookies and the guys over the weekend about making sure now we keep it the best. Let's respect the facility and the building and the men and women that helped get us into this 
um, into this facility. And listen, hey, welcome back. This is going to be a great opportunity. It's a great chance to uh, get this thing started for this year. All right? Let's have a great day. All right. We've covered this team for a while. Can you think of a time where expectations were, were this high? Coming off of the 2017 season, maybe. But this feels different because you have Trevor Lawrence here and the Doug Peterson factor, too, that can't be overlooked. It, the two most important things are the head coach and the quarterback. You got both, so it feels a lot more ramped up even over 2017. The crazy part is I think there's more teams at the top end in 2023 than there were in 2018. But I do feel like it's more sustainable because they've got the quarterback, because they've got the head coach. They've got it, kind of all the pieces in place to make this thing a sustainable yearly run and not just what 2017 turned out to be, which is a little bit of a one-hit wonder. You know, this is a team that is really talented and has a lot of weapons. I think the offensive line is going to be just fine. Trevor Lawrence is going to be in position to be very, very successful again because he really is one of the better young quarterbacks in the NFL. Let's go, baby. How many we got, Coach? How many timeouts? Two. 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 One, one ten. ten. Need a field goal. Need a field goal. All right, got gotcha. you. Hey, let's go. Play fast, communicate right here. Let's go, let's dominate. Let's go, let's go. Watch the cast. Here we go. You ready? Set! You good? You good, baby? We're rolling, we're rolling. Let's go. Sign, sign, sign. Get him. Here we go. Ready? 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 ready. Yeah, Riz. Nice hunt. They're down. They're down. Ah. Uh, that's me. That's me. Good job, man. Hey, we got to go. Go. Got to make it. There we go, baby. Great job. I want to score on those, you know. Sure. Like freaking well, end it, go end it. I know. Well, the definitely. Points are good. Touchdowns better. For sure. I mean, I've never, never really listened to the expectations. That's something that I've been able to block out, and I've had practice with it. Being, you know, at a program like Clemson that's had success, and there's that expectation, and it shows when there are high expectations. You know, you did something to get to that point. What's that? When you got the quarterback, you've got a chance, and they not only do they have the quarterback, who I believe the final ten weeks of last season was second in the NFL in passer rating, second in the NFL in completion percentage over the final 10 weeks of the regular season. That's a nine week stretch. That is not a fluke. That is an absolute guy starting to come into his own. When you see the kid do what he did against the Chargers in the wild card game, and you see what he did over the second half of the season, he's an elite quarterback. To show up in the playoffs and to outperform Justin Herbert in that second half, I'm telling you right now, Trevor Lawrence is coming. There's people who look at it and they see Trevor Lawrence, okay, he's not Josh Allen, and he's not quite Patrick Mahomes, so he's a little, they're looking at him as a second tier, third tier. I mean, people have him even lower. Pickett, Mack, Tua, and Lawrence coming off a playoff win that was a very complicated playoff win. But if you think Trevor Lawrence <laughs> is the 14th best quarterback in football, then you're just not paying attention. Right. It just seems like everything is clicking for him. The game has slowed down. He knows where guys are going to be. He's learning personnel because, you know, I run my routes different than Zay does. Hearing how he speaks, hearing the way he's seeing things and what he feels comfortable with, it makes it easier when you know the people you're going to work with, hearing their stories and knowing pretty much who you're fighting for because it makes it worth it when, when the season gets hard. It's going to come, bro. I know. Every day is different. Absolutely. You know? That's the biggest thing. His communication with, with the skill group around him has been fantastic. We don't want surprises on Sunday. We want everybody to know this is how I'm going to react, this is what's going to happen. That comes from communication on the practice field in the meeting room. That's where Trevor really has taken a huge leap from this time last year. Those, you got the pads on now. <laughs> I like that too. Like, 
if it's Matt, if it's man, bro, run it. If you know it's a man or a match, like run it kind of like a stash. I'll just get on you quick. Man, uh, it's honestly been a beautiful thing watching Trevor because this is actually my first time really intentionally building a relationship with my quarterback. <laughs> Go. 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 Good ball, boy. And so getting to know him um, and watching him grow professionally in the offense, um, just as a as a just a, a player, as a gamer, um, not even just kind of being told what to do. Just as he's progressed um, while we're on the field in between the lines, um, it's been incredible. He's gaining a lot of confidence, and uh, the sky's limit for him for sure. Trevor, where were you when uh, you found out about Evan getting this deal? We were actually we were actually together. We were out in Arizona for a, a skills trip. Got to talk to him and just obviously super excited that he's back and just what he means to this team. Obviously, he's a really talented guy, but. You know, his work ethic, the way he carries himself, you know, leadership, all those things. I think that's really what makes you want a guy like that and want, want to keep him for sure. So he's a huge impact for us. Big dog. Did it, man. Yes, sir, you did. You did. Yes, sir. I haven't even, I haven't even hit yet. I was boohooing all yesterday. Yesterday on the flight, so I, don't, I may I may have got all my tears out already. Mom, my oh, mom got plenty. <laughs> mom got plenty of tears for everybody. It was like an up and down roller coaster, but um, never lost faith. I always felt like something was going to get done. Like I, I had faith. I was praying on it, and there were times where I kind of wanted it to be done already when it was probably not even close. Um, but it was my first time really experiencing something like that, and just had to stay patient. I was getting a little antsy a little bit, but um, definitely it was more patience uh, that I needed to have. When I found out that ba basically the deal was done, my agent called me and was pretty much like, yo, you know, the deal's on the table. I think this is the one that we take. And it was the most um, uplifting uh, feeling I've, I've ever had. Um, there was a lot of dark times in my career and um, there was all obviously some good but there was always there were some times where I never thought that I could get to that moment. Yes sir, yes sir, what up y'all, what up, what up? My fiance was right there and she has seen the worst of it and has been with me through this you know transformation and um, kind of 180 of my career and so just to be able to be with her um, in that moment was, was special. We've always wanted Evan back. I mean, he, he, he just a tremendous player. Again, second half of the season, what a great season he had. Um, you know, he and Trevor are on the same page. So we definitely wanted to, wanted to keep him. And, and it just enhances our offense we, we, to have a playmaker like Evan on our football team. There he is again, another catch and a first down for Evan Ingram. Caught for the touchdown by Evan Ingram. Terrific catch that time. Once again, it's Evan Ingram. Ingram! He could have moonwalked into the end zone. Trevor Lawrence to Evan Ingram. That ball's going to be caught. That's a touchdown, Evan Ingram. Are you kidding me? Field to 80. What's that? Did he catch that? Did he catch that? Great catch, Riff. Like to be back. I mean, it's been a minute. Yeah. I'm excited. Honestly, what got me was the locker room. I was like, wow, I got a locker again. And then the smell is like, I smell football. I can literally smell football. So it was that that, you know, made it more realer. And I was like, wow, I'm back in here. Calvin's going to burst back onto the scene before he left and was suspended. I thought was the best route runner in the NFL. Period. He can run any route and absolutely break your ankles, tear your ACLs, dislocate your... This guy is a route running just genie. But he defines everybody roles because he's a clear number one. But now you can put everybody else in their role and everybody can star in their role because you have an absolute superstar at your number one position. I don't believe he's hit his prime. He's a little bit bigger. And so I think he, that shows that in his downtime, 
it wasn't downtime. It was he was away from football, but football was still on his mind. So that tells me that he's primed and ready to play football. And I think uh, he'll blow a gasket, going as fast as he possibly can because he's ready to get back into the action. No, no, I'm never gonna think I'm gonna be rusty. No, a player like me, I'm never gonna think it's rust. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that. His career has presented its own obstacles, and he's overcame them, and he's here now, and he's hungry. I mean, you can see it in his eyes. This guy wants it really, really bad. I say this all the time. There's not a lot of guys, I think, at this level who love football the way it should be loved, and he cares about this game. He cares about the details of this game, and so having the addition of him, I feel like it's made the room. Um, cohesive and just better. I gotta hit that. I gotta alert you on that go too. I got you, I got you. The way he runs, there's not many guys like that, especially in and out of his breaks. And you know, he's just really crafty, obviously great ball skills. And then just, you, know, you haven't even seen it yet because we're not in pads and we're not full contact. But I think after the catch, he's really, really good too. So he's gonna fit in really well with, with that group, you know, with Zay and Ag and Christian. You know, I think he's fitting in great. I think he's the type of guy that we look for bringing in, you know, to this organization and this team. His approach, his hunger, his drive, you know, how he attacks each and every day. He's got great work ethic and, you know, just a great teammate. See, I look at the offense and I see all the pieces we got. But I look at the defense and I was like, wow, we got a great D-line. We got great linebackers, great safety, great call. We can really be something as long as we get better and we all connect together and we get better. Like, I really believe in this team. I think this is you know, one of the best teams I've been on, for real. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Hey, hey man, Zay's been saying it. Let's decide. Today's the day where you can take the easy way out. Attack this man, attack it. Don't take the easy way out. This shit was easy. Everybody would do it, man. Let's go. White House on three. One, two, three. What up? What's training camp mean to you at this point in your career? Yeah, you know, I think it's it's obviously one of the more important parts of what we do uh, along the journey of, you know, the football season. For me personally and where I'm at in my career, uh, it helps train my mind and my body, especially, you know, when you're in the middle of the season and your body's a little sore, mentally you're a little tired, physically you're a little tired. And just to be able to push through and, and get through those those days, that's why they call it the dog days of training camp. Pretty much every morning, this is my routine. Get up, get my coffee my little to-go cup. I like to drink it on the way in too, just so I can kind of get my mind right for the day and let the, the caffeine kind of settle in. Going into my sixth training camp, you know, I feel, feel really good. Off season was great, you know, body's in good shape and, you know, mentally, I feel like I'm in, you know, one of the best spots that I've been in. It happened early last year where, you know, I really stopped caring what other people thought. And, you know, I wasn't going to sit and let people say what I do and do not deserve. Um, you know, I know what I've worked for. I know that the person and player that I am. And so for me, it was just as long as I can go out and be an integral part and help winning games and bringing, you know, this organization to where it wants to be, then I'm I'm totally fine with that. The opinions of my peers and my teammates, my coaches and the people in that building are the only opinions that I really cared for. Got it for the touchdown. Oh, he's got it. What a touchdown. touchdown. What a connection from Trevor Lawrence to his new ace receiver, Christian Kirk. This team has expectations now. You know, for us, we hold ourselves to a high standard and you know, we would know where we want to go and, you know, that's all the way, you know, to, to the end of the Super Bowl. And that starts, you know, week by week, winning our division and winning in the playoffs. So it's a long road, but it, it starts, starts today. We're not sneaking up on anybody. We're going to go out and take what we want. Go out there do what's possible. We know what we're capable of, and we know there's a lot out there for I us. I want to try to go get a ring. Have the leadership, you know, have a better year than we did last it's year. about execution and showing up at the right time. Play at a high level. We've got to take a step by step. What we're capable of. Whatever team is in our way. We're going to go be the Jaguars that we know we are. Finish, baby. Good job. James. 
All right, here we go real quick, bring it up. This has been a great three days, okay? It's been a great three days. We got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of great work in, okay? A lot of great work in. We, you, made each other better in these last three days, okay? We threw some situations at you, you handled it. Again, today, a little bit of live, live uh, uh, tackling, you guys handled it, okay? But learn from it, right? Is it perfect? No. Were there mistakes made? Yes. We got a chance to watch the tape. Just learn from it and grow. Next time you're in this situation, it's probably gonna be Saturday afternoon in uh, Arlington, Texas, okay? Next time you go live, it's gonna be in a game. Next time you go four minute, it's gonna be in a game. Learn from this. This is a great day, great three days. All right, you guys had a great couple of weeks, but we're not done. We're not done. We're just getting started, man. Understand that, we're just getting started.